Hello, Isopod fans. It's Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko, Supreme Isopods, and do we have a special surprise for you? We're going to unbox. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you until later. In... Oh, that's right. It's in the description, and it's actually in the title. You already know what we're going to unbox. So let's get on to it. It's Monday morning. We got home from a very big show, a two day show, reptile show over Saturday and Sunday. We put away all the geckos, we put away all the isopods that we purchased and that we took to the show that didn't sell. There weren't that many, it was a great show, but I am exhausted. Not only that, we had to mail out, oh, I don't even know how many boxes because we, the weather just broke and we were fortunate enough, enough to be able to send out some nice boxes of geckos and isopods. But we spent pretty much, and Nanette and I spent all night putting those away, so I'm pretty tired, but I held the best for last. This is one of those things where you work and work and you think about the good stuff, and this is the good stuff right here. For the show, we were so fortunate to be able to participate in the Show Me Reptile Show US ARC Benefit Auction. We put some animals in, put some isopods in, and we picked up one. Holy! More than Dan. More than Dan. Whatever he bids, 10 more. 90. All right. 100 for Wally. So 110. Who wants 110? 110. 110. Who wants 120? 120 for Wally. Who wants 130? 130. Still low. 130. All right. 140. 140 to Wally. 150. What? What? Sold to Wally. What is that one? It's a 20 count of Cuberus rubber duckies. And this is from our great friends, Red, Gun Red Gunther from Red's Bugs. Great fun friend, and I mispronounced his name. But Red put these into the auction, and again, it was such a great benefit. They were hoping to achieve 10,000. They came a little, oh, they came just over $10,000. It was fantastic, fantastic uh, auction, fantastic cause. So we, came away from the auction with rubber duckies, 20 rubber duckies. Let's go ahead and put them away. I have this enclosure all set, and I wanna mention one thing. I've mixed into the substrate calcium. Now this is a last minute purchase kind of thing. I didn't have a tub set up, but I'm going to show you a tip a little bit later that will help you set up new tubs like this. But we mixed in calcium into the substrate. We have the sphagnum moss. We have the leaves. We have some decaying wood, several pieces of, um, of flat wood on top of here. I wanna get some uh, limestone pieces that we'll add to the tank as well, to this tub. And here's the rubber duckies. Let's go ahead and take a look at them and go ahead and add them to their new container. Well, Red has really packed the heck out of these. They're just unbelievably well packed. Oh my gosh, there they are. Take a look at that, folks. Here's that isopod pro tip that I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. This is really special. If you have a new tub, if you have new isopods and you uh, put together a new tub, take from an old tub. Now, don't take from an old tub, an existing tub, I shouldn't say old, an existing tub that you would have uh, babies in, that you would have a species that you would be that would be difficult to um, disseminate, to tell apart from the animals that you're going to put in this new tub. I took some sphagnum moss out of another rubber ducky uh, container, a rubber ducky container that I purchased a few months ago that's doing very well. So you're asking yourself, Wally, you've kept isopods for several years. Why are you just now getting rubber duckies? Well, I got rubber duckies several months ago and they did okay. They didn't really take off. They kept their, their the breed going uh, with uh, mankind, with babies, but they really didn't take off. But this sphagnum moss is just absolutely loaded with springtails. And what we're going to do is put this 